Hello guys, this is Leo Tools. Today I'm going to introduce guys case blade broke punch. Uh, this is a recent uh, case blade product. It's a uh, it's a it punch that produce broke patterns. Uh, I got this about a week ago, more than a week. I've tested it on different leathers and uh, tried on different other products. I really like it so far. I highly recommend this punch. So before I go into the details, I'd like to show you guys what is the broke pattern is. So it is okay so you might guys have seen this pattern a lot on English wingtip shoes uh, it's normally seen on English shoes maybe some other makers do it also uh, this is the broke pattern shoes it's a broke uh, it's a bro it's, it, it doesn't have to be it's not a must thing but uh, there are nice me made shoes without broke pattern but this kind of work uh, just uh, gives a very nice uh, classic look to the leather items I've seen some of the guys on the Instagram do this uh, kind of pattern. Uh, I was looking for this kind of punch for a long time before Instagram. Uh, I tried to make one, but uh, it doesn't. It didn't give the clean, uh, very uh, well spaced uh, punch look to it. So I was very glad the case blade punch came up with the idea of uh, making a broke pattern punch. So let me show you guys what it looks like. I have already destroyed. The packaging, sorry guys, I didn't open with you guys. Uh, they come with a nice individual packages with a with a pouch, vinyl pack. But uh, I just uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Anyway, um, okay, they come with a very nice, uh, well designed. Uh, I like the, how they package and ships. Uh, this is bubble wrapped, so it's a nice and nice and safe um, so they come with a, just like um vacuum sealed uh, kind of uh vinyl pack what i have is this is five hole broke punch okay two on both sides and the big one in the middle uh, this is right now it's a four millimeter one is installed uh, now uh, it has uh, two extra screws just in case you lose one of them and comes with the the right size for L wrench, L key, and the different size. Uh, this is the extra order you have to pay for the extra punch in the center. Uh, this is three mil size. Okay, so this one is four mil, and this is three mil. Uh, let me show you how to purchase this tool first. So, okay, let me start with uh, first. Uh, I'll put this address in the description box. But anyway, it's a KS bladepunch.com okay uh, they launched their website recently and they um, they ship worldwide they take PayPal so it's no problem buying with you guys so you click shop and you click broke punch then they have two options uh, either way it's fine uh, you can order extra punch to replace the center punch size so either you have to buy you buy three mil you can replace it with the four mil I would go with the full meal. Okay, so main hole size full meal broke punch. So you select the option, and you see that three holes is the least option, and uh, it goes all the way up to 14 holes. And uh, you can buy extra punch for four meal, three meal, and one meal for the extra punch on the sides. Uh, I have to warn you guys that if you guys buy three hole punch, that means the holder comes with the three holes only. So even if you buy extra one mil hole punch, you cannot add it to the holder because it doesn't come. It just comes like this, okay? So uh, the five holes is the least option you wanna go for so that you can do the straight lines with the five holes uh, and then you do, do the curves with the three holes. Uh, three holes is a, is a, you need three holes to, only three holes to make a tight, curn, tight turns or the tight curves. Uh, anyway and uh you can you can see that uh th these are size i think five if you're doing the very long like a, like a sling of a bag uh you you, you want to go for higher holes uh like uh, 11 holes or 14 holes to make efficient very nice straight um punches all the way to the three long long lines uh, if you are only making like small leather goods uh, wash straps things like that uh, five mils is enough, but uh, why not go with a 
longer ones just in case just a one punch will do uh, I, I think it's a more uh, uh, time uh, efficient so anyway so let me show you the details now okay now case play punch uh, they are all metal construction and they're a really nice well machined uh, punch uh, I want to emphasize on this the sh how sharp the the punch is and how stay well sharpened and um, they, they do the second dry, secondary grind on their punch so that the tip is very strong and sharp uh, some of the punches they have only the primary grind uh, right to the tip that can be also sharp too but it doesn't stay sharp that long time so this is secondary bevel uh, even if uh, there's very small, the one mil punch has the very very nice secondary secondary bevel to it. So this very nice precision machining has done to the, this punch. Uh, anyway, this is all metal construction, and the, their logo is. Uh, I think this is laser engraved. Uh, it, it's not a paint, so uh, it doesn't remove easily. Uh, it has a slightly uh, depth to it, so. It looks like it doesn't going to remove that easily. It says five on it, so that means uh, five tip is uh, play, hold can hold five tips. And uh, let me show you guys how to change the tip. Okay, so I keep the extra screws in different bags just in case uh, I move the things around, uh, it doesn't fall out. So it comes with the L wrench and. Uh, the center center punch. So, in it, uh, if I want to change, just take an L wrench. Uh, you don't have to remove screws all the way. Just back it up a little bit, and take it out. And uh, you insert it, and you just tighten it. That's it. Okay, it's that easy. And uh, if you want to do the tight corners and the curves you have to remove two set screws uh, I'll explain the better part of it in the de demonstration so just, uh, just back it up a little bit on both sides okay and just put it out like this and then just to you make sure you tighten this a little bit just in case you not to lose the screws uh, there's a hole in here this is hole for the leather inserts after you punch through the leather stuff leather will uh, will cloak here and then it will eventually come out here here and then on both sides in here here and uh, in the center ones uh, the punch will go into the hole and then it will come out this hole okay so it's nice efficient well designed tool and uh, look at this this machining uh, over each these holes it's a very well precision machined you know just uh, just they have made punches more than 50 years uh, they have imported punches to overseas outside of Korea so I think they have technologies and know-how how to produce you know, such a quality uh, evenly spaced holes punches so even the as far as the punches go and breaking irons uh, they produce really you know nicely well machined precision tools uh, I really like their punches especially and high quality tools lasts you a long time and uh, it gives you great results okay all right so i'll show you guys how to use this tool in next part